All right, let me call Froggy. Froggy, uh, they were hit at their house. Where is Froggy? Can you guess? In the John with IBS. Uh, in typical times, yes. Uh, Froggy's not in the John with IBS. Uh, Froggy, I believe, is at his parents' house because they uh, had their house flooded in town and country. Let me call Froggy. All right. Yeah, Michelle, uh, we collected a whole bunch of boxes from our attic uh, for Kim and Froggy. And Michelle's going to go over uh, there. This is Dennis Phillips. I just want to take the opportunity again to say I really appreciate what you guys do. Well, thank you, Dennis Froggy. <laughs> that was a big old, big old so thank much. you fest, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, really, I just I love you guys, and you keep us really, you keep us happy and healthy. Now, uh, uh, oh, we Dennis, miss you, Froggy. D- Dennis, we miss yeah. you. do you wear the yeah. susp- do you wear the suspenders while you're driving? Yeah, only on my wiener. Oh, he's, oh, he's, 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 yes, I missed that word. <laughs> All right. uh, I, I'm sure we can have. First of all, MJ, let me say this. Yes. Let me let me start by saying thank you so much. This has been a rough week, and this is such a great time to announce that I'm coming back on the show. Thank you um, <laughs> the, to the management. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Ron. This is the perfect time to announce I'm coming back. Let's do it. Are you ready? Uh, I am yes. Froggy. I am working toward that. In fact, uh, I'm. Wait, what? What are you talking? What? You, this is. I thought this was the. Now, um, well, the, well, <laughs> we're 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 gonna, we're we, we're having you on to talk about your storm damage. Look, it, it's it's oh, it's, oh. it's 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 regular Froggy. Look at this, yeah. uh, uh, Froggy. Oh, I'm, I'm actually I'm about I'm about to make a demand. I'm I'm about to if they don't it's take about time. Let's if, do it. it. Well, I, listen, I I did everything to. Uh, you know, try to keep you uh, intact. Uh, the issue is, is that the, the radio broadcast business is uh, in terrible condition. All the companies were laying off people. Uh, when mm-hmm. when they cut Froggy, I flipped out, and uh, essentially, uh, I'm getting close to saying you got to bring Froggy back, or uh, you can uh, kiss. Uh, over a million and a half in in business goodbye. So you make that stand. I'll stand with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Whoa, uh, Froggy. We miss you. We miss Hal. We miss Al <laughs> Pacino. We what? miss, of course, Tony Danza. I never realized how attached I was to Tony Danza. So yeah, he died in the flood. Oh no, that's sad. What do you have? Te- did he drive a Tesla or something? <laughs> so how you guys doing? Huh? How's the show? Uh, um, all right, Froggy. Let's talk about your house. All kidding aside. Okay. Uh, let's talk about your house. What, uh, what, what, what's going on? Uh, how bad was your house hit? You're in Baycrest town and country. You're, uh, you know, not far from Memorial in Hillsboro. What happened? Uh, uh, yeah, we got flooded, um, about two, uh, foot and a half, two feet of water in the bottom floor of our house is destroyed, you know? And so is our whole neighborhood. The whole neighborhood got it. You drive through and it's like a war zone, really. It's weird. You know, we drove through Baycrest yesterday, uh, Sunday, and I mean, it was shocking. And we didn't go back as far as your house is. But what amazed me is like along along Memorial, all those houses they they don't even back up to the water. They're you know they're hundreds of yards from the water from the canal. No, yeah, everybody got it. Everybody's stuff is in their front yard, you know. So it's really sad. It sucks. It's stressful. In your neighborhood, and I know your neighborhood fairly well, BJ lived right around the corner, so I was there many times over the years. You know, the old MJ and BJ days. BJ lived right around the corner from you. I'm trying to remember, most of the houses are 1960s and 70s builds. Uh, Are there any in your neighborhood that are built up, or really almost every house is close to grade and got whacked? Well, our house house was built in the 60s, so we got it. There's a couple of houses in our neighborhood that have been built in the last couple of years, and they've been, they were built up really high, and I don't think they got it as bad. But a lot of the houses in the and in the whole neighborhood are old, so that's why I think so many of us got screwed. So, what was destroyed in your house? So you had two feet of water in the house. Uh, so the appliance is everything toast. Yeah, everything. Uh, all the appliances. Uh, we have to cut off um, all the – they have some measurement from the water line to where yeah. you're supposed to cut up above it for yeah. the mold or I, whatever. I, I've got that right here. So I'm, I have the initial restoration for flooded buildings guide. This is from FEMA. This is from 
the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, which uh, FEMA is part of, and the tear out. I'm looking at a guide here. Uh, one is air out, two is move out, number three is tear out. And on the drywall, if drywall or plaster has been saturated by contaminated flood water, it should be removed. Respiratory protection should be worn when removing drywall as some older drywall joint compound contains asbestos. If the water level was less than two and a half feet, the wall material should be removed to a height of four feet to facilitate reinstallation of full sheets of drywall. If the water level was greater than two and a half feet, the wall material should be removed to a height of eight feet or the ceiling junction, whichever is higher. So okay, these guidelines are important, Froggy, but I was talking to a builder yesterday, and one thing you have to be careful of, especially if your house is older and especially with it being two-story, I mean, yes, follow those guidelines, but make sure you're working with a, a builder remediator that knows they're not going to mess up the structure of your house by doing certain things. Yeah, In other words, maybe get two opinions just to be safe. Well, taking drywall off the wall is not going to mess up the structure of I the mean, house. I mean, a support wall. You know, There's no uh, support drywall, yeah, but yeah, you have to know what you're yeah. doing and where you're doing yeah. it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, but you're not taking out studs. I mean, you're just taking the drywall off, you know, support beams or uh, load-bearing walls. You're not ripping any of that stuff out. But really, the drywall's got to come out. You know, this was uh, salt water with who knows what's in this water, and obviously it just has to come out. So, Froggy, you already have a restoration uh, company that's already begun for you guys, correct? Yes, sir, we do, yeah. And the <laughs> smell, I can't even tell you. Oh, and I do have, I, I found a redfish in my pool. How awesome is that? <laughs> was it alive? Was it, redfish? Was it alive? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was swimming around in my pool. So, so I guess it, so I, I'm planning on keeping him. And then I found a... 100 gallon fishing aquarium that floated into my yard. Hold on, a hundred gallon, a glass aquarium in your yard? Yes. A glass aquarium with the uh, LED lights and a little um, SpongeBob boat inside of it. Right. So, so that's a score, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to sell it. Yeah. I'll tell you, at our house, and again, we're on Tampa Bay as well. Froggy is. Further north, uh, on some of the canals up in town and country and, and Baycrest, uh, we're just south of the Howard Franklin Bridge, and uh, we're right on Tampa Bay as well. And when we were cleaning up the yard, uh, just the the so-called little yard treasures, uh, you know, uh, Michelle and and uh, Chloe, they found like trinkets and some kind of a like a an, an artisan wooden box with ceramic inlay was in our yard. We have in the mangroves behind my house, we have a full six foot tall curio cabinet, which, you know, those like, oh, a, nice. yeah, it, it, like almost like, like a, a, a Chloe thought it was a grandfather clock. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe said, dad, there's a grandfather clock in our backyard. And I went over and, it, you know, it kind of the shape wise, it's like a grandfather clock, tall and thin, but it was a curio cabinet, but where did this come from? Who who lost a curio cabinet? Where did it come? I, I found a ring doorbell in my yard. Where did this ring doorbell come from? <laughs> Crazy. Dude, I got the biggest score of all. I got a brand new floating dock. Oh, <laughs> Somebody's dock broke off, and it matches my dock perfectly, and I hope they don't hear this because I don't want to give it back to them. But, man... I got like a 15 foot floating dock that was leaning up against my dock, and I'm like, this is mine now. Yeah, keepers, right? Yeah. Hey, I. I mean, I, let me get something positive out of it. All right, now, I, I hear you're in the car because I, I hear your car going doo 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 doo. Uh, by yes, sir. This is Tuesday morning. I believe that aren't you supposed to take Hal Herman to his rehab appointment this morning? Uh, you know what? He's in the back seat. Hang on, <laughs> Hal. You want to talk to him? I'm not talking to those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't think he wants to. He's not in the mood. He's not in the mood. Right. Hang on a second. Hal, do you, are you sure? No, you're taking me to my appointment. I hate these guys. I used to live for that show, and now I got nothing. All right, he's not happy. <laughs> I uh, I should probably go. Um, hey. That's right. Now try me, you son of a bitch. All right, yeah. well, hey, uh, what is this? Miss Daisy taking me to the piggly wiggly? 
right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, Froggy, Froggy, could could you ask Hal if what? he can, can you put yeah. him on? Can you put him, just see if he'll come on the phone? God damn it! Hang on a second. All right, Hal, you want to? I don't want to talk. Get my phone away from me. Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Hal, any chance we can do a a Hal Herman headlines at some point? Absolutely. Any time, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. all right, listen, hey. Froggy, all kidding aside. All right, I got to go. I need a drink. All right, Hal, Froggy, Hal, goodbye. all kidding aside, listen, we love you. Uh, the situation here, as far as work goes, completely sucks. I can't hear you over the crappy music. Oh, shut this crappy music off. <laughs> all right. All right. Shut all right. the music right. off. I, I shut the music off. Listen, we love you. Right. We, we uh, The three of us miss you dearly. Uh, Hell. We all feel you. Hey, got by real- the way, here, hang on. Hey, Froggy wants his eyes all the yeah, way okay. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, guys. Yeah. Um, in closing, I just want to thank you guys. I, I want to thank Andrew, first of all, for reaching out about the house. I want to thank Fester, of course, yes. for reaching out and yes. offering to bring us dinner. And, uh, and, and the other service I offered. <laughs> yes, and Roxanne, of course, offered so much help. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> Froggy, Froggy, I was in my attic pulling out boxes for you guys. Michelle and I are, Michelle's coming over to help Kim pack things up later today. Oh, oh, okay. So thank you to Michelle also. I just want to say thank you guys, and I love you, and I miss you. Miss you. And, uh. I'm going to go back to sleep. Okay, we love you, too, and love to Kim and the boys, and I did tell them to come over anytime if they... All right, Froggy, uh, here's the deal. Froggy, the deal is I'm going to demand that you return by January 1st or else I'm walking out. So how am I going to feel when that fails? Yeah, well, well, then we're then we're both uh, then we're both out of and, work. And yeah. I think by return January first, he knows my contract's up. Then, so he's like, yeah. Roxanne, you oh, you go, and Froggy you comes back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better take a seat and think about it, Ronnie D. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want to see the morning show that comes after us. <laughs> Listen, it's yeah. going to be the Roxanne Moore Music Morning Show. It's going to be kick ass. Hey, it's, I heard it's, it's, Christie's contract's coming up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. it's Roxanne with 12, hey. 12 songs in a row this uh-huh. hour. Hey, Froggy, hey. Froggy, my contract expired yesterday, and they had no idea. They're like, what? Oh, Jesus. They're like, huh? Good luck what? with that. Yeah, fa- I came in yesterday saying, MJ, yeah. they're going to fire me froggy style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they haven't said a word to me. They're going to just call me in at 10 o'clock and say, hey, listen, we're going to do to you what we did to froggy. You know what I think? What? I think you have a future in shelving installation, my friend. <laughs> if I only knew somebody in the All industry. Right. Uh, froggy, you're back You're back in here in studio by January 1st or else uh, I'm done. I'm leaving. Hey, from your lips to God's ears. Eh? <laughs> right, right, right. All right. Hi, buddy. We love you. All right, goodbye. All right. Thanks, Froggy. All right. Uh, Froggy uh, phoning in from, it sounded like his car with Hal Herman uh, splayed out on the back seat. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Did he call us a a hole? Did yeah, he, he did. Him? Did Froggy? Okay. No. Uh, no, Hal, Hal I'm sorry, Hal. Hal did call right. him. You know what? And right. Hal, He's angry. I don't blame him. Yeah. Hal's not wrong. We are. We, we didn't even have like a going away party for him. No, or, Roxanne's you know? not, but MJ and I, we're, we're both a hole.